Um, you know, the people that would roast these seeds at the bottom, they would do that. And then the top, you know, you can do whatever with it. You can decorate with it. You can prank somebody, put it in a, like a box and then give it to them in a week <laughs> on Halloween. Be like, here you go, a present for you. And then they open it and it's just like molded and shit. <laughs> Hey, hey everyone, my name is Valentino and welcome back to my channel. It's hashtag Halloween. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. When I was growing up, we didn't really carve pumpkins like that and the fake ones lasted the whole month. And it would just be um, cuter and flies wouldn't accumulate because where I grew up, there'd be flies and mosquitoes and shit. But today, I'm gonna be carving a pumpkin. So I really don't know what I'm gonna do. If you were in my position, like comment down below how you would carve this pumpkin. What design would you choose? I guess we should see how she looks. I feel like each pumpkin has their, you know, aura and their vibe. She's a little lopsided. Hmm, maybe I should look around for some inspo. Hmm. Chinky! Uh, this is my cat. My beautiful cat. Oh my god. Well, it's my boyfriend's cat, but he's mine now too. Look at me. Look at me, darling. Let's see your features. Okay, I think I got this. Yes. All right, you're dismissed. Down. Go. <laughs> JK, I'll put you down. Yay! Thank you for being my video. You're awesome. All right, so now that I know what I'm gonna carve into my pumpkin, I really don't know what to do next. So let me get my phone so I can Google it. Oh my God, you know how easy this was? I literally just Googled how to carve a pumpkin. I don't have to click on an article or anything. It's right there, there's pictures and full on instructions. I was literally at a party last night where this guy was talking about nothing will ever top the internet. Like the internet is like the best thing ever. And it's just getting better and better. So step one, using a large serving spoon, spoon out the seeds and fibers and discard. Oh, so that's not even number one. How are you gonna start with number one and then have a precept to number one? So choose a large pumpkin and use a sharp serrated knife to cut off the crown. So we're gonna give her a crown. We need to cut her at the top. I do some brain surgery and then using a large serving spoon, scoop out the seeds and fibers and then discard. So luckily I'm not wearing anything cause you know, last night was a late night and how pretty turn. You know, when there's an open bar, you can't refuse those strings. And then um, I don't want to get anything on me. So luckily I'm good there. And then we'll just start with that. Let's see how this goes. So she said a serrated night. I have, you know, this one out, cause you know, we always need a big bitch to scare them. Scare them hoes with the big bitch. And then we need a nice, small, sharp one that'll really do some damage. That way we can sneak up on them hoes. So sneak up on them hoes with a strong little bitch. And then, um, I figured I could use this to like do some indents and mark, you know, my design, jinky. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do his body, like full body or just his face, you know, cause his face is so gorgeous. So I don't know what I'm gonna focus on. And then I have these two spoons, but Miss Internet asked for a sharp serrated knife. So I feel like we need something a little better. So we're gonna use her. So we're gonna cut her pretty high at the top, I think. And I think we should go at an angle, cause you know, this pumpkin is curved. So, we'll see how this goes. Ooh. Do not cut your finger. Oh, I think I made, oh, I don't know. Stab yourself in the nuts. <clears throat> okay, a tip is, I'm trying to just go all the way around, but it's better to just go in and out. 
like, you know. Always go in and out. You wanted a cat? Are you out of your mind? You can't even get the top off of the little car. Oh my god. Stop! You're gonna hurt yourself. I'm almost there. Almost got the crown off. Ooh! Ooh! <gasps> Nasty inside. Shows. Mm, it smells. Ew. Oh. Why does it smell? Is it rotten? Or is that just how a pumpkin smells? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, is that... I don't know if that's it. Should I be like... I don't know. Do I need to... And I have to like be over this to like... Do... Maybe they can't smell it on camera. Oh just my act. god. Alright, so I'm back and I'm prepared. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, if you're at a party and around people. Ooh, it's still going through these. I just need to adjust my nose a little bit while I'm over this and scooping shit out, because it's dank. So, I think I need to cut it. I need to cut it first, right? Before I start, like... No, you scoop the stuff out. So, I learned that you just need to scrape really hard. So, hopefully after I get all these guts and shit out, it'll stop smelling. Because she's, she's not good. Sees anybody? If you, um, like a lot of people were roasty seeds. They have the oven pre-eating already. Can you just do this for me? Seriously? Alright, so after we both finish, you know, clearing this out we, and, and taking care of the lid because we, there was a lot of stuff that was hanging from the lid that somebody took care of. And step two. Although I still don't understand why they didn't consider taking the lid off as a step because as you can see, it's not easy. But with marker pen, draw a simple outline of a face on the pumpkin. And then it says three, pop a tea light inside the pumpkin, light it and replace the crown. And there's more pumpkin advice if you want to click on the article, which I'm not doing. I decided to get a couple of stencils because, you know, now that I know I'm doing Miss Jinky, I wanted to make it easy for myself. So. I think I'm gonna do the face because as you can see, carving is not my forte. So I'm not gonna do her. And we're gonna try to do Mr. Jinky's face. And of course, I'm gonna personalize it because you know, Jinky isn't as basic as this cat. So we're gonna we're gonna try her. We're gonna try her. Um I forgot which way is on the front. I'm gonna try to just indent it with this knife. You'll never see I'm sure you don't wanna draw with a pen. Because it's never gonna go through. Okay. Well, first you have to like thumbtack the thing to the pumpkin so it stays in the same place. I feel like I see a little indent. Oh, God. Because <laughs> it cuts through the paper. Okay. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to get some. I need to move this because this stinks. Get her out the way. All right. So I'm just going to draw the whiskers, but I'm going to go ahead and place my eyeballs. And then the nose. I'm not getting a cat anymore. Maybe I fucked up. I look like a cat to you guys? <laughs> that is so not a cat. It looks like a, a panda or something. You know what? We're just gonna try it to- It looks like a very scary monster. <laughs> Okay, change the plans. That didn't really work. So now, I just Googled a stencil and I'm gonna try to draw the one with Google, on the Googler, on the pumpkin. Is it a simple design? Um, yeah. Just, so. just 
two triangle eyes, a triangle nose, and a mouth. And then... Fang. You are never going to be able to carve that baby. What is it? What's this? this Those are the ears. You're going to take triangle? I think I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna card. Okay. Once you start going, it's like you're a pro. You're a pro. Like you just go quicker, and it's like I got this. I'm like. A pro carver, like give me some marble shit. Fuck some shit out of some marble. I wonder what I would carve. I used to love um, ceramics. I should just start back. Maybe I should start getting this like, marble carving. This is not pretty. All right, so now I'm just cleaning up all the marker residue. Oh. I feel like as soon as you look at this, you can see Jinky and it's like, I did that. It's like, oh, look at Jinky. Oh, oh my God, it's Jinky. Can you see? Jinky, where are you? Oh, Casper's there, but doesn't it look just like Jinky? All right guys, so, this is my pumpkin. I I mean, it took me like, what, an hour and a half to complete this whole thing. I feel like I put a lot of hard work in there. Look at the detail of the eyeballs, you know, the fangs here, you know, a very intricate nose that Jinky has. And I think you should comment down below what you guys think. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Not the video, just like in the comment section. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up because of all the effort that I put into her, you know. But let me know what you guys think. And if you think it's you know horrible, then I guess you could do that throwing up emoji. But I know everybody's probably gonna put the heart emojis, like the eyes and put the hearts in it because look at, she's adorable. Oh he, but you know, I like to, I like to be gentle neutral. Oh, I forgot the candle. It just went out. Comment down below what you guys think. If you're used to carving pumpkins, if you've ever done it before, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below, as well as the bell next to it to make sure you're notified every time I post. Until next time, bye guys.